Hi, I'm Ken Danjanovich, your host of this edition of Sports Reduce Television. I'm on the banks of the Kenai River in Soldotna, Alaska with the Gone Fish and Lodge, one of our prestigious platinum approved outfitters. As this is one of our favorite venues each year. We uh, actually promote a special week for the Gone Fishing Lodge each fall. So we're here the last week of uh, August and uh, this particular year is an even year which means that the pink salmon will also be running on the Kenai River. Uh, it makes for a lot of fun on fly rods on our off times and our off days here at the, the Gone Fishing Lodge. And during this week <coughs> we will be fishing for uh, Albin and Cook's Inlet, uh, Silver Salmon, Lingcod Combos in Seward, uh, fly out for uh, the silver salmon on the Kessitan River, uh, drift boat fishing on the upper Kenai for rainbows and Dolly Vardens, and power boat fishing on the middle Kenai for silver salmon rainbow combos. So uh, this is going to be a great show. Uh, we've got uh, Steve McGrath from Camp Chef and uh, Mark Francis from Browning Apparel here with us on this trip and uh, it's both their first times in Alaska so I know they're going to have a great time and I know you're going to have a great time on this edition of Sportsman's News Television. Today we're out with uh, Gone Fish and Lodge out here on the Seward area. I'm uh, going to go out on the Resurrection Bay and I think probably even further out looking for uh, halibut, I think salmon, link cod, a combination trip. So we're going to get the best of both worlds today. Hopefully the uh, ocean isn't too rocky bumpy. If it is, you'll see me hugging the rail. We'll definitely get video of that. And uh, what a beautiful place, you know, an amazing sunrise coming up this morning, uh, bright and early, nice and cool, even in the middle of the August. But uh, this is what it's all about, how to enjoy what we've got here. We got one bite. about this place is uh, second to none. It's a fun day of fishing. So Captain, uh, how did we do out there? We did good. We did very good. Uh, you know we got a whole variety of fish and that's what we're after today. It was a combo trip. And we're looking for giants. We're just looking for as many different kinds as we can get. And that's what we did. It's a good day. Nice link, huh? <laughs> hey, Mark, what are you doing there in the corner? I can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first experience at uh, Halibut? That's, uh, looks like you might have the big one of the day on the first fish of the day. Oh, man, we're going to go real quick here. You got a double there on halibut? Oh, that's a kind of a rarity. Double it up, right here in Alaska, doubling up on the halibut. See my forearms? They're bigger, they're pulsating. This is good, though. Yeah, they use double circle hooks in uh, most of these boats, and uh, that does happen every once in a while. This is uh, Augustine, one of the active volcanoes here in the area. You might be able to see the, the plumes of smoke coming off at uh, the top of it on the, on the clear days. Uh, some days you can actually see five, actually five volcanoes in this, in this area. Uh, Readout, uh, Eliana, and Augustine here in the background are all visible at this time uh, on this morning. So. So we were out on the Alpha Anchor Point out in the Cook Inlet today with uh, Captain Charlie's Charters uh, with Gone Fishing Lodge. And as you can see, we did really well. Uh, Gene, you did the best. Everyone else looks up to you or, or down, all the way down to you, and you did really well today. But all Thank the fish, you. Thank you. Uh, I think we're all going to be eating pretty well. 
looks so, like it. Great day on the water, beautiful weather. Uh, you know, the seas were the seas. They really weren't that bad, but it was. We had a great time out there, and uh, something again. Once again, everyone should give this a try. It's a lot of fun. Here we are on the middle of Kenai, uh, about 35 miles up the river. We're fishing silvers. It's uh, been a lovely morning so far, a little chilly, but we were doing really well. We were already had five or six silvers in the box, and we lost a couple, so uh, we're having fun. A lot of dollies, a lot of rainbows up here. Uh, we hope you can come join us. Okay, this is a K-15 quick fish. We're back trolling right here. We use different sizes of these. We usually have them wrapped with sardines, and uh, sometimes we put some special sauce on them, and we're just slowly bringing them back to the, to the silvers, and they usually take them pretty good. We use K-13s, K-14s, and 15s for the silvers, and we can spin cast them, we can back troll them, uh, we can even fly fish them at times, so uh, this is just one of the things that we have to be using today. This is uh, when, when you come up to the Gone Fishing Lodge, we do all the vacuum packing and fish processing for you. Freeze it, cut it, vacuum pack it. Uh, and this is the table right here where we come out, we, uh, we rinse your fish, cut it into uh, uh, pieces that are uh, uh, able, we're able to put in bags and vacuum pack it for you. Most of our packages are designed for seven nights and five or six days of guided fishing. Totally up to the customer uh, how much fishing they want to do. Now we're located in southeast Alaska, it's 150 miles uh, south and west of Anchorage. And uh, this is one place in Alaska where you can reach us by road. So uh, you would actually fly into Anchorage, pick up a rental car in Anchorage, and you're going to use that rental car to come on down and uh, see us at the Gone Fishing Lodge. Uh, there's only five roads in the whole state, and this one road comes down and goes on both sides of the peninsula, and that allows us to do a lot of fishing in different areas. Uh, normally in Alaska where you'd have to fly into to get there. So uh, we're going to be using that car all week to get uh, over to Seward and the Gulf of Alaska and then bring it back over on the other side all along the Kenai River and down to Homer on the west side where we're fishing out of Cook Inlet. So uh, having the vehicle actually is an advantage to allow you to get around to all the different areas that we're fishing uh, here on the Kenai Peninsula. On all of our guided trips all the fishing equipment, the rods, reels, tackle, bait, uh, is all included and a professional guide is provided on every single trip so really you don't have to bring anything uh, if you want to bring your own fishing poles you're more than welcome to bring them uh, we do fly fishing we do spin fishing we're doing fishing out in the ocean uh, and uh, bait casting and all of these different rods and reels are provided by each individual guide and so uh, again everything's included in your package when you book with the Gone Fishing Lodge So this is, uh, I think, probably the ultimate Alaskan experience. We're going to fly out today. It's a little foggy, but not that bad. And uh, we're going to get off the water and uh, head out, see some country, and uh, fish some back country. Uh, I believe we're going to go over to the Custan River and get some silver. So uh, let's hop in and get going. What do you say, Jared? Let's do it. Fishing Lodge, we have quite a bit of variety of things that you can do. This is one of the trips we call it's a fly-out trip. It's on we get here by flow plane. 
Uh, we've got these boats over here. We've got other locations we go to. Uh, we're in a slough right now. We're going to uh, go out of this slough, out into the river. We're going to go uh, try to get some silver salmon out here. And the only way you can get here is by plane. And uh, this slough is very narrow coming in, but the planes land right here. It's a great trip. Uh, really good fishing. And it's just one of the many packages or trips we have in our packages. There you go. Got a little color to it, huh? A buck coming in, getting that hook nose. He's an average size silver. We got a honey hole here, I'll tell you. It's absolutely incredible. Had a blast. He's got one on over here. I've got a Dolly Varden on. Yeah, they're pretty. A lot of places they'd be content to catch those all day long, okay? <laughs> yeah, we fish the upper uh, Kenai tomorrow. You're going to see some that are going to go about four, 4 to 10 pounds. So. There you go. go. Custatan River, silver salmon on the fly, baby. This afternoon we're out here on the uh, lower section of the Kenai River. Uh, we already, uh, the group I had today, we already did a fly out. We went across Cook Inlet to the west side for silvers. And we came home, got a bite of lunch, and we're down here uh, fishing for pink salmon and silver salmon here in the lower Kenai River. Uh, these pinks only run every other year, so every even numbered year, this is a great thing to do after your fishing trip for the day is over. Come on down, catch as many pinks and silvers as you can. There's more pinks right now than silvers. Uh, probably hook 20, 30 fish in, in an hour or two per person. Now there's a lot of other trips we can do. Uh, this is just something we do after hours on your own free time. Today we're on the Upper Kenai River, a great section. This time of year we're here in late August. It's great. It's really good for fly fishing and rainbow trout fishing. Uh, Mid-August through mid-September. Uh, we're going to go drift boats only and uh, there's four to a boat and uh, should be uh, right in the middle of the king and the sockeye egg bite. So if you uh, love fly fishing, love catching a lot of big trophy rainbow trout, now's the time to be here. And, uh, we're going to ship off right now and, and uh, get rolling, get on some fish. got a rainbow here. I don't know. It was good take, good fish. Been a good fight so far floating down the Kenai and uh, about to find out what it is. But it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a good fight. I think it's a good fish. I hope it's a rainbow. A lot of reds in here. They're all over the place, but uh, I got lucked out on this one. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay. Not quite river run through where I bail in, but I'll chase it down the shore. Oh, 
buck here, he's got a little bit of a hooked jaw. And in the fall, they spawn, so these fins are turning bright orange with these real white tips on them. Really cool looking. That whole belly is going to turn bright orange, and it will really look like a brook trout. Man. Well, this technique we're using today, this is called shot and indicator nymphing. It's a deep water technique. Um, we've got the indicator at the top of the line there. Um, if you're a fly fisherman, you call it an indicator. If you're not, we can call it a bobber. Anyway, and then we've got some weight here. These fish are right along the bottom, so you got to get deep. We're fishing an egg pattern today. This is a six millimeter dark row. These sockeye are actually spawning right now. So this uh, is supposed to represent uh, what's kind of coming out of those hen sockeye right now. And uh, we've got this sitting above the hook. Since this is a catch and release fishery, this is a really good technique. Um, the fish is going to grab the bead, and when you set the hook, you get the fish on the outside of the mouth. And uh, since we're releasing them, being yeah. hooked on the outside of the mouth makes a big difference. Uh, the fish mortality rate for this river is actually really low because of this. Um, they don't get hooked down in the throat, they don't get hooked in the gills. Well, as you can see, we had another great uh, day here on a fly out with uh, Gone Fish and Lodge. And I'll, I'll tell you, if you're looking for a great uh, variety trip, there's none better than here that uh, Dick and Ralph here at Gone Fish and Lodge can set up for you. They can tailor made uh, really a, a week's trips of anything you could possibly think of. Uh, multiple species to uh, Seward and Resurrection Bay, a cook inlet for a giant halibut. Uh, here, of course, on the famous Kenai River for, depending on the time you're here, either for king salmon, we're here in August for the big silver and uh, uh, pink run, a upper Kenai trip for uh, big Dolly Varden and rainbow trout. So the next time you're looking for a great outdoor adventure, give Gone Fishing Lodge a call on the Kenai Peninsula in Soldotna, Alaska. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Sportsman's News Television. Sportsman's News Television is sponsored by Barnes Bullets, Unleaded, Unfailing, and Unbeatable. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. CBA muzzle loaders, it's just a better gun. And Sitka, turning clothing into gear.